Over several thousand years, bridges have served one of the most important roles in the development of civilization. The spreading of knowledge, the growth of local and worldwide trade, and the rise of transportation were all made possible because bridges connect people and communities. Initially made out of the most simple materials and designs, bridges soon evolved and were able to support wide deckings and span great distances over rivers, gorges, and inaccessible terrain. Starting with the 13th century BC Greeks, stone arch bridges quickly spread all around the world, eventually leading to the rise of the use of steel, iron, and other materials. To be able to serve various roles, carrying different types of weight and span terrains of various sizes and complexities, bridges can strongly vary in their appearance, load capacity, structural elements, the presence of movable sections, construction materials, and more. The core structure of the bridge determines how it distributes the forces of tension, compression, torsion, and shear. Arch bridges use an arch as a main structural component. The arch is always located below the bridge, never above it. With the help of mid-span piers, they can be made with one or more arches, depending on what kind of load and stress forces they must endure. The core component of the bridge is its abutments and pillars which have to be built strong because they will carry the weight of the entire bridge structure and the forces they convey. Arch bridges can only be fixed, but they can support any decking friction, including transport of pedestrians, light or heavy rail, motor vehicles, and even be used as water carrying aqueducts. The most popular materials for the construction of arch bridges are masonry stone, concrete, timber, wrought iron, cast iron, and structural steel. Beam bridges employ the simplest of forms, one or several horizontal beams that can either simply span the area between abutments or relieve some of the pressure on structural piers. Because of their simplicity, they were the oldest bridges known to man. Initially built by simply dropping wooden logs over short rivers or ditches, this type of bridge started being used extensively with the arrival of metalworks, steel boxes, and concrete. Truss bridges are very popular bridge designs that use a diagonal mesh of most often triangle-shaped posts above the bridge to distribute forces across the entire bridge structure. Individual elements of this structure, usually straight beams, can endure dynamic forces of tension and compression. But by distributing those loads across the entire structure, the bridge can handle much stronger forces and heavier loads than other types. Suspension bridges utilize ropes or cables hung from the vertical suspenders to hold the weight of the bridge deck and traffic. Able to suspend decking over large spans, this type of bridge is very popular all around the world today. Originally made in ancient times with materials such as ropes or vines with deckings of wood planks or bamboo, the modern variants use a wide array of materials such as steel wire that is either braided into rope or forged into cast iron links. Because only abutments and piers are fixed to the ground, the majority of the bridge structure can be very flexible and can often dramatically respond to the forces of wind, earthquake, or even vibration of on foot or vehicle traffic. Some of the most famous examples of suspension bridges are the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco and the Brooklyn Bridge in New York City. Do you like videos like this? You can find me on YouTube at Hero City Edworks or follow me on Twitter at Hero City Kevin.